everyone and welcome to C Vlog. So in today's episode I'm going to be giving my top five tips to learn guitar. So I've been an acoustic musician professionally for about two years now and I've been learning guitar for 10 years. Um, so it's been a very, very long time. And I wanted to give these tips today because I know how much people struggle to continue pursuing guitar when they said that they really want to learn it. And that's because it's actually more of a difficult instrument than what people realise it is. Um, I remember one lady at a gig once saying to me, oh, guitar's easy, it's just doing this. And actually, it's not that simple at all, because it's obviously you've got to keep the rhythm, you've got to, you know, play the notes, you've got to hit the right chords. And then, you know, if you sing with that as well, oh my goodness, it's just, you know, a multitasking nightmare. <laughs> but today I'm going to be giving my tips to help you learn. And hopefully these tips do help you. As I always say in the C Vlog series, these are tips that have helped me personally um, and things that I have learned from my teachers um, throughout the years and all that kind of thing. So without further ado, tip number five, finger exercises. So this is a very boring tip. And I remember when my guitar teacher said to me, yeah, we're gonna have to do some finger exercises. Um, and you know ones for your mind and I literally laughed and I was like what people actually do that when they're learning guitar and it really did help me so one of the ones that he taught me was you lie your guitar flat on your lap and you put the hand that you play your chords with on down and then you lift one finger at a time like this and then slowly you can do like different ones like this or that or that and then keep the others flat as possible on the guitar and then another one that he taught me that helps um, your mind and your flexibility is doing this and then this and then going through like that, <laughs> which actually, oh my gosh, I have not done this one in ages. So yeah, you go through like that and then through like this and it, oh my goodness, it's literally, ah, uh, does take a long time to kind of get there with that one. But it really did help me and, you know, mind exercises and guitar exercises. There are more than that. You can find them on YouTube, on Ultimate Guitar. Um, those are just ones, well, one of the main ones that I can remember um, that I actually did practice in order to kind of work on my flexibility and to strengthen my hands so that I could play bar chords, which are just so irritating at times. And so that would be my fifth tip. Make sure that you do finger exercises and, you know, things to keep your mind busy and always active when you're learning guitar. And tip number four, one chord at a time. So this is a very simple the effective method that I did when I was learning guitar. So I was very overwhelmed when I first started learning guitar and this was because I had no experience um, with the instrument other than the fact that I knew that I wanted to play it because Avril Lavigne played it. That was the only experience with guitar that I had. And um, so when I first started learning, my teacher went through all of these different chords and I was so overwhelmed and I was like, I literally, I can't play any of these, I can't do any of these, and I got very frustrated very quickly. And so what I would do is I would go home and I would practice one chord. And I remember one of the first chords that I learnt was a C. And so what I'd do is I'd just go over that, keep playing it, and at first when I played it, it literally sounded like this. Like I could barely play it. And don't worry, if there's a buzz, that's fine. It will get better and the buzz will disappear, trust me. And then I started strumming with the chord, keeping that going and practicing. And then eventually I'd be able to play it. And if I didn't have my hand there, I could just go to it straight away. And so that is something that I would definitely recommend to anyone. Start with one chord, don't push yourself too much. Um, and if you're given a new chord or trying to learn a new chord, then focus on that one. So then an A minor. that one and keep that going then practice strumming it and do it that way that would be my advice and try and make sure that you can play the notes with no buzz and then just slowly work from that and that leads nicely into tip number three which would be learn the four chords that is literally every song so when I was learning guitar one of my biggest motivations behind it was oh, I want to be able to learn songs you know, I wanted to be able to learn Avril Lavigne songs, Nickelback songs, Linkin Park songs, Paramore songs. Like I wanted to be able to play them on guitar and show off to my friends and family. That was the main goal. 
And so I remember my guitar teacher said, right, when I teach you these four chords, it's literally every song. So these were G, D, E minor, and then C. And to prove that they're every song, I will show you. Well, not every song, but most songs that people learn. With or without you, with or without you, I can't live. With or without you, I'm your biggest fan. I follow you until you love me. Papa, Papa, I'd Cause your heart, then your cold, GS, then your no, your in, then your out, up, then your down. Do you believe in life after love? I can feel something inside me say, I really don't think you're strong enough. And there you go, that's just G, D, E minor, C, G, D, E minor, C. <laughs> All the way through. And so once you learn those ones, practice from going between them in different ways. So maybe try D, E minor, C, G, and you'll slowly just get the hang of it. I remember at first I struggled to go from a D to an A. Like I struggled with that. I was like, oh, I can barely move my hands. And now I'm there and I don't even have to look when I change. I can just, you know, don't even have to look. I know where my hands are. Yep, I just know. And that's because it's all about practicing and making sure. But definitely practice those chords and keep that going for as long as you can. Uh, look up songs that are G, D, E minor, C. Look at what you can learn and then incorporate new chords like A minor, D minor and that kind of thing. And then it will just slowly build up. Then you'll go on to bar chords and, you know, power chords and all that kind of thing. And I remember when I was first learning, I couldn't play an F chord, a bar chord F. I found it so difficult. I actually threw my guitar on the floor because I'd had enough because I couldn't play it. And then luckily my mum said to me, look, you either learn guitar or you're learning ballet, which is it? And I did not want to do ballet. Like I'm quite the tomboy. So I was like, right, fine. I'll go learn that stupid F chord. And then in the end, I can play it because I practiced and, you know, focused on one chord at a time and then built it up. And because an Avril Lavigne song had an F in it. And so I had to learn it. <laughs> and but, well, tip number two is get a teacher or learn from YouTube. So I've linked some great channels and pages below and I've also linked some teachers that I really admire that I think are brilliant. Um, this is really important because if you're anything like me, I learn guitar by watching other people and by doing it myself. So having my guitar with me and then having someone else with a guitar to teach me one-on-one -on -one was so helpful. And I had a teacher from the age of 14 to when I left school at 16 and then I ended up just going on YouTube and learning guitar afterwards so I kept it going and that would be my tip to you. If you're thinking oh I can't really afford a teacher or I don't have time for a teacher then definitely go on YouTube and look up how to play chords, how to play songs and you'll just find yourself slowly learning. Um, I never got taught piano, I taught myself piano and that was all from watching YouTube tutorials so you know, don't underestimate them. They are very, very handy and a very good tool in this day and age. So that would be my advice. Get a teacher to keep you accountable and to get you learning each week and bringing something new. Um, or um, get a YouTube channel that you can follow that you can put 10, 20 minutes aside for to learn new chords and to learn new songs. And finally, number one, the most important tip, practice, practice, practice. So if you've watched my C vlog before, you will know that I am a massive advocate for hard work and for practicing um, and this is because I myself used to just constantly practice as soon as I got home from school it would be an hour or two learning new songs on guitar because I desperately wanted to learn them and just you know be good at the instrument and so you'll never get anywhere and a lot of my friends give up because they don't practice they expect to be able to play an instrument when they barely spend any time on it and so this would be my advice to you a hundred percent keep practicing and don't give up. Don't give up just because your guitar buzzes. Don't give up because you can't play an F chord like I almost did. 
and you know put all these tips into one go away and practice um, get a teacher or watch YouTube videos do one chord at a time and then progress on to others and do finger exercises and things to strengthen your fingers and the flexibility that would be my advice to you today and I really hope that you've enjoyed this video I'm so sorry for rambling on for so long when I get talking about guitars and music and all that kind of thing I just blah, 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 it all just rambles out and I really hope that these tips have been helpful. If you would like me to do tutorials on some of the songs that I play because I post covers every week, then please comment below and I'd love to do a tutorial and show you how to play things, um, you know, songs that I've been learning, or the way that I play songs because I tend to um, simplify songs as well because when I'm performing, I want the chords to be as simple as possible so that I can focus on singing. Um, and so if you'd like to learn simple versions of chords, um, or a simple rhythm to play along to something then let me know in the comments down below and thank you so much for tuning into C Vlog, and I will see you next month. Bye!